Hello YouTube. In this Weka tutorial, it's very important. I'm going to dis demonstrate uh, how you'll be able to compare the performances of the classifiers generated by multiple numbers of learning algorithms from a single data set or from uh, multiple data sets. Now to begin with, uh, you should realize that when I'm talking about evaluating the performances of multiple classifiers, that means that we're not able to use the explorer because in explorer, you are, you are not allowed to use more than one classifier at a time. So to demonstrate uh, the idea, I'm going to click on the experimenter. So if you don't know how to use experimenter, then you can go back to tutorial 12 where I tried to describe the buttons, the functionalities, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of uh, the environment uh, in that tutorial very briefly. So to begin with, I'm clicking on new because I'm trying to do a new experiment here. And, and then I'm going to click the add new on the data set options. And I'm going to go to the data sections of wake up installation folder. And for this particular tutorial, I'm going to select the segment challenge dot arf. So that's our data set. We are going to play with that particular data set. We are not using multiple data sets, but remember that in experimenter environment, you'll be able to play with multiple data sets at a time. For algorithms, we're going to the algorithm sections and we're using uh, three algorithms for this tutorial. I'm clicking add new. My first algorithm is going to be a naive base uh, algorithm. It will generate a classifier from the segment challenge R file. So that's our first learning algorithm. Our second algorithm, uh, let's say we're going to use uh, an SVM algorithm, it can be found under functions and you can select leave SVM. And uh, there are lots of options for SVMs, but we are going to stick with the default ones. So we click OK. So that's our second learning algorithm for the tutorial. Our third algorithm is going to be, uh, for example, it's going to be a tree one and my favorite for from the tree one is the random forest it really worked well for me for several occasions okay so here we have the three algorithms these three algorithms will generate three classifiers uh, from the features of segment challenge dot r file so this is going to be a classification test so this radio button is on the number of faults will be 10 but here i'm not going to use 10 times 10 fold cross validation so I'm taking it back to one. So as we're done here, we go to the run tab and there is a button called start and we click on start. So the experiment has been started at 1014 AM. You can see it on the log and on the bottom, bottom here, you can see that now currently SVM is working on the R file and iBase has already finished this working uh, on the R file. And you'll see now it has been changed to random forest and it's done because uh, after 21 seconds you can see that it's finished and there were no errors. So to start the analysis of the performance evaluation by the three classifiers you go to the analyze tab and there is a button called experiment we click on it. Everything is set as default and you have to you have to be very careful with configure test option, uh, especially with the testing width. So there are two options here. The first one is PRT tester corrected, PRT tester which is not corrected. I I believe that Weka has this one as the latest. So this is set as default. And what is a PRT tester? You have to go to your statistics 101 for research. Uh, where you will be able to know how you can do a significance test. So PRT tester is a kind of uh, significance test. On row, I'm going to set the data set. So this is uh, how I'm going to format the test output here to be shown here. My row is going to be uh, displayed as the data sets. The columns are scheme, scheme option, scheme version, ID. I don't need 
the se uh, the last two I just need the scheme names which is the name of the algorithms and I click on select so uh, there are many evaluation measures you can find in the comparison field that how are you going to compare the evaluate uh, performances of the classifiers well it's it's default uh, set default set to default percent correct or accuracy but I'm more interested in uh, finding the F measure or F1 score. The significance here is default to 0 0.05. This means that any difference found uh, among the classifiers generated by these three algorithms uh, will be within 95% confidence interval. So if you don't know what is called a confidence interval, what is 95%, what is alpha equals to 0 0.05, alpha or significance equals to 0 0.05, what's a pair T test, then you have to really go back to your statistics 101 for research where you'll be able to find out everything about significance test. But this is pretty much standard nowadays to report the statistical significance of the difference between uh, difference among the classifier performances. The rest are uh, just the defaults here. I'm not going to play with that. And as we are all set, uh, we click on perform test. You can see immediately that uh, on test output, you have numbers of things here. The tester uh, is the paired, cor paired corrector tester, and, and we are analyzing F measure, not the accuracy. We have one data sets and uh, three result sets because we use three different learning algorithms and the confidence interval is 95% or the alpha is equal to 0 0.05 which is two-tailed and now we are going to analyze the results. Here on the result you can see that this is our data, sets call, data set called segment. Our first algorithm is naive base so that's that sits at number one because that was chosen uh, you can you can go back to the first tab to set up you can see that naive base was chosen first so that means this is our base algorithm we are trying to compare the other two the live SVM and the random forest we're trying to evaluate those performances against these uh, uh, base classifier uh, produced by naive base algorithm. So the naive base has scored 84% F score. Okay. And the live SVM scored 68% F score, where the random forest has 100% F score. So now we have to say which one is better than the other. Well, uh, with naked eye, we can see that yes, 68% is much more lower than 84%, and 100% is much more better than 84%. But uh, there, there will be some cases where this is very marginal. This can be 0.84 and leave SVM for say, say for example, performing 0.81. Then is that a significant result, significant difference between the naive base 0.84 and leave SVM 0.81? So in order to see that, in order to report that, you have to you have to report the statistical significance at 0.05. So in Weka, for for this case, you you not you are not able to see the significance value. How significant uh, uh, naive base classifier significantly naive base classifier performed than uh, leave SVM and how it was poor uh, than uh, the random forest. You're not, you're not able to tell that numerically, quantitatively, but there are some symbols here. One symbol is called V, that, mean, that means a victory, and other symbol is called asterisk, that's a loss. And this, the middle one is a blank one. That means uh, I cannot tell whether it's statistically significant or not. So here, our naive base performed 84% F score, and leave SVM has 68% F score, and we have an asterisk right beside the leave SVM score F score. That means that leave SVM performed 68%. Uh, compared to 84% of naive base and that is statistically significant difference and this is poorer result. Whereas if you compare the naive base uh, performance with the uh, random forest performance 84% and 100% respectively, then you can see a V sign that means the tree or random forest has performed significantly better than the naive base classifier. So if you, if you, for example, if we had 
84% for 90 base and 81%, but without anything here, neither an asterisk nor a V, that means that we cannot say that this 84% is better than 81%, or we cannot say in other way that this 81% is poorer than this 84%. So in order to uh, report the comparison among the performance of, performances of several classifiers, you have to know the symbols. Asterisk means significantly poor, and the V means significantly better, and uh, it's a blank. That means we cannot tell whether it is significantly better or poor. I think that helps you a lot. Just one thing you have to remember that we have just one data set here, but we could have multiple numbers of data sets there. And um, the results uh, you needed to interpret accordingly because now you are having two different data sets on and you're applying three different algorithms So the result set here will look a bit differently, but the interpretation our interpretation is going to be the same I hope that helps and I promise that I'll be back this time sooner. Thank you